The University of Sheffield, based in Yorkshire in the north of England, is an internationally leading research intensive university, working with industry to innovate and working with government agencies to inform policy. The water research activities based at the university are a perfect example of this. We often say as academics that problems are multidisciplinary and solutions come from combining different disciplines in novel ways. We have a great number of pools of talent to draw on to solve a problem like environmental protection of water. You have to bring these together and start talking about the problem. Sheffield offers fantastic opportunities in the sense that the source of water is not too far away in the Peak District. So you've got the whole integrated cycle within Sheffield which makes it an ideal centre to study water. We have sociologists and political scientists, town planners and architects, engineers and scientists and we all work together to try and understand how water and its catchments work and how we can get benefit from those. This place that we're standing on now was uh, flooded in 2007. People don't want that to happen again very quickly. Where science comes in is in understanding why the river flooded in the way it did and what are the uh, consequences of doing various options, not just one option that may be obvious at first glance. On the Ursula project, for example, we have a full-time social scientist working in the same office as the scientists and engineers, so the constant communication is really key. If you include including social scientists in the actual development of those questions and the framing of those problems, then you create more possibilities both for exploring the problems as the research progresses, but also in generating findings which may be more acceptable to policy makers. There is an example that I have from when we were doing a lot of work on how pollutants can degrade all by themselves and don't always have to be cleaned up. And by working with the Environment Agency, we were able to demonstrate what is thought to be about a five billion pound saving to the national economy. This is a huge infrastructure that our society relies on providing our clean, safe drinking water as well as our waste uh, disposal. Uh, this infrastructure to be united, the scale of it is about 330,000 kilometres of clean water distribution pipe in England and Wales. That's approaching the distance to the moon. There's about the same again for sewerage networks and this is a really old infrastructure in a lot of cases. The strength at Sheffield is the laboratory facilities. These are unique, sophisticated and world-leading. Facilities like this are a key factor in engaging the industry. It's really having things like this that are full scale, at a pilot scale, that we can make that leap from the idealised benchtop scale through to what's actually going to master it and be applicable in the real world. What my research is involved in is really understanding biological processes in the environment. And in particular, I'm really interested in understanding you know, how bacteria interact with the environment. A lot of the students that we have doing research within the department like the idea that we're giving them a multidisciplinary skill set. And I think the environmental engineering angle is a really good opportunity to do that. The good thing here is so we can have a shared passion to understand uh, the mechanisms of um, life. This is a good atmosphere. People can share ideas and then to stimulate or inspire to each other. What we invented is a microbubble generator. We've already identified over 40 applications. Some of them are quite new. We're actually talking about potentially reducing the electricity usage over the UK for something like half a percent of all the electricity in the UK. Now that is a really worthwhile benefit. I think there may be a lesson in there for private industry. Just start talking. And I think there is also a lot of venture capital money out there ready to do this stuff. You know, they're looking for ideas, they're looking for stuff that makes sense to industry. So there's definitely a win-win-win there if you look for it. A company such as mine, AECOM, wants to be seen as a leader. We want to do innovative technologies and more than that, we actually want to contribute into making water and waste treatment a more sustainable process. So that's why we value these partnerships. Some of the things that you need to have in place, some of the key ingredients to effective multidisciplinary research is you have to have good leadership from the university. We certainly have that at the University of Sheffield. You need a few people like me that help push people out of their individual areas and get them together. But the most important thing is you have to have curious academics. You have to have people that are drawn into the process Problem because it's so interesting. That's the great thing that, that we have at Sheffield that allows us to tackle something very broad like environmental protection and really draw on all this talent that we have. <laughs>